Today I'm going to show you a number of different ways to perform the same search in the PLRB search database. This will demonstrate that there are many ways to obtain the same search result using various different search methods. This will be a demonstration on how to use our state annotations to get information on a particular topic in the PLRB search database. In our scenario, the insured has suffered a loss to her home in Colorado. You need to determine the actual cash value of the loss, so you would like to know if we have any information on how to determine actual cash value in Colorado for a home. The way to begin any type of search will be to go to the PLRB homepage, which is plrb.org. To begin searching in our state-by-state -state annotations, you'll go to the PLRB homepage, mouse over to coverage research, you'll notice a number of different items you can drop down to, click on state annotations, and that will take you to the home page of our state annotations. You'll notice that we have a map with all the various states as well as a listing of all the states in a list. Clicking on either the state in the map or in the list will bring you to the same search results. I'm going to click on the map on Colorado since we're interested in finding information in Colorado. Here you'll find a list of all of the various topics that we have compiled state by state annotations on. Generally when we get quite a bit of information on uh, in, in many different states on a particular topic, we'll go and compile a state by state annotation. The nice thing about these is, um, although you might find uh, the same kind of information in various other places in the database, um, this has compiled it just uh, down to your specific state. So it can be a helpful way, especially uh, if for someone who only searches, you know, only covers a few states. Um, so here we're, we're interested in information on actual cash value in Colorado. I'll click on the actual cash value tab. What this brings up is our state and uh, treatment of actual cash value in the state of Colorado. What you'll find first is the table of contents for the document. Then you will find a, an introduction of the actual cash value. Uh, this is a good place to start. You might begin by reading this. That'll give you a brief overview of the, the treatment in, in your particular state. Then you'll go down to Colorado case law on ACV. You'll notice this is broken down into building and then down here, personal property. So anything you're interested in pertaining to actual cash value in the state, hopefully we'll have cases uh, listed here. Here you'll go to residential and you'll see we have uh, a heading here that says replacement costs less depreciation. So that's likely the, uh, the measure of actual cash value that's used in Colorado. And you'll notice a couple of cases. One is a very old case uh, with a little parenthetical description about that. And then the second one is a case called Dupre versus Allstate. And you'll notice here a link to our property insurance law review. So that means we have written up about this case in the law review. If you'd like to click on that link, you'll see that the case comes up. Uh, and we have a in brief of the case as well as a good description of the facts, the policy language, and the court's holding. I, I would like to scroll down and show you um, at the end of many if not most of our cases, we have a comment section. Uh, you'll notice that it's always in italics, so that will let you know that this is a comment by the PLRB uh, staff member who wrote uh, this law review article. And many times this uh, comment section is going to give you a lot of helpful information that sort of fits this case into the entire scheme. Um, it might tell you more information about actual cash value, where you can find other information. So that is a very helpful uh, item. If you find a comment uh, in our law review case, uh, it's, that's really worthwhile reading. Beginning back at the PLRB homepage, uh, there are other methods you can use to find state-by-state -state annotations. If you, again, mouse over to coverage research, you can drop down to the PLRB search, click on that. This takes you to our homepage for the PLRB search database. Across the top, you'll notice a number of tabs here. One of these is table of contents. If you click on the table of contents, what you'll find is over on the left, 
Here are a list of categories of all the different types of documents that we have in the database. Uh, we have annotations, we have Q&As, question and answers, and you'll find over here state by state. Also, here's another way to access the state by state annotations. Click on state by state, and the first thing that comes up is actual cash value. This is a list of all the topics again that we have state by state annotations on. Click on actual cash value. When you click on these state by state annotations, generally the first document you're going to come to, it's either called table of contents or it might be called introduction. Here we have table of contents, actual cash value. Click on that. I wanted to show you this document because this brings up when you're looking for a, one particular state in our state by state annotations, this provides a real nice overview introduction of the whole topic in general. You can read through this entire thing. It's going to give you a nice broad overview of the topic of actual cash value in general. And then you can get down to your state listing here. I could either click on the state of Colorado here, right here, or I can go back to the list of states over on the left for actual cash value and click on Colorado. Either way is going to give you the same results. Click on Colorado. And here again is the, the d document that we found during the state by state search the other way. Here again is a, a way to reach the state by state search um, with your introduction and then your case law and then um, your list of, of cases under the Colorado case law. In our scenario, the insured has suffered a loss to her home in Colorado. You need to determine the actual cash value of the loss, so you would like to know if we have any information on how to determine actual cash value in Colorado for a residential property. The first thing you would do is go to our PLRB homepage as a starting point. Mouse over to coverage research and drop down to PLRB search. Clicking on PLRB search brings you to the homepage of our PLRB search database. You'll notice across the top we have various different tabs that you can click on. The second tab here is the subject text and state search tab. Clicking on that brings you to uh, a number of places that you can provide information on the subject, text, state, author, or document title. Now, you don't have to fill in all these boxes. You can fill in as much or as little information as you have on a particular subject uh, that will help you in formulating your search. The subject search, if I can give you just a little information, Every document uh, that PLRB writes, the author of that document makes a list of subject terms that will go along with the document. This is helpful in bringing up the document when you do a subject search. Hopefully, if you find uh, good words to put into the subject field, it will bring up your particular document. The text field is the words that you put in the search box. If those appear anywhere in the text of the document, you will find this document will come up in your search. So the text searching is a much broader way to search. The subject search is a little uh, narrower, but sometimes it's nice to begin with a subject search, and then if you don't find good results, you can narrow in uh, doing a text search. In this particular case, since we're looking for actual cash value in Colorado, what I'm gonna do is type in actual cash value in the subject field. We'll begin by doing a subject search and uh, see if that brings us the results we'd like. And then in the state field, you can either type in just the two initial abbreviation for the, the particular state. That would be the postal abbreviation. Or you can type out the entire word for the state. So I'll just put in CO here for Colorado and then push submit. What you'll get is a list of the documents on the side. These are the different categories. We have frequently asked questions. Sometimes those may be relevant. You have homeowner's annotations. So for example, if I click on actual cash value from the homeowner's annotations, this is going to be a very broad discussion of the term actual cash value where it appears in the homeowner's annotations. It's going to discuss the actual cash value provision in a very broad sense. It can give you a lot of 
information for an overview, but might not have particular state by state breakdowns that you might be looking for if you know what state you want. So here's a broad discussion of the term actual cash value. It does list some states, but it's not a comprehensive list of all the cases we are aware of. If you go back over to the left hand side, uh, if you had a commercial or a business owner's policy, you might want to look at the those annotations. Or if you're looking in the auto context, case law as well. If I click on case law, you'll find I click on this case, and this is the case Dupre versus Allstate. This can give you uh, an overview of the case here and in, in brief. Then we have the facts of the case, the policy language, and then some other information about the holding from the, the court as well as the PLRB author's comments on that case. So this is a case from Colorado on actual cash value that might be helpful to you. On the left hand side the next category will be state by state. You'll notice the first document here is Colorado actual cash value. I'll click on that and that is going to take us to our uh, state by state treatment of actual cash value in the state of Colorado. Here we have the table of contents as well as an introduction on the topic of actual cash value. And then we have our, our case law on buildings and then also on personal property. And you'll find residential property here and a discussion of a couple of cases as well as a link to this case. Click here and that's going to be the same Dupre case we just saw by going to case law. To begin today, our scenario is that the insured has suffered a loss to her home in Colorado. You need to determine the actual cash value of the loss, so you would like to know if we have any information on how to determine actual cash value in Colorado for a home. This will be a demonstration on using the Google search method to find documents in the PLRB search database. Again, we're going to begin at the PLRB homepage, plrb.org, and you'll notice that on the top right-hand corner, we have the search bar that's called PLRB Search Powered by Google. In this bar, you can type anything just like you would a Google search. So any words you find that you think might be helpful in bringing up a particular document, you can find right here, right off the homepage by clicking into this box. So in this particular case, we're looking for information on actual cash value in Colorado. In our scenario, the insured has suffered a loss to her home in Colorado. You need to determine the actual cash value of the loss, so you would like to know if we have any information on how to determine actual cash value in Colorado for our home. So going to this Google search box, I'm going to type in actual cash value, and I'm going to type in Colorado push submit. This brings you to the PLRB Google search page. The document results that appear here on the right hand side are the most relevant documents in order of relevance. So if you click here, the first one that comes up is Colorado actual cash value. And that takes you to the state by state document we have in Colorado on actual cash value. And you'll find an introduction as well as a uh, discussion of the case law for buildings and personal property and you'll find under residential property replacement costs less depreciation as the standard and then you'll find a couple of cases here that discuss that. If I want to I can go back to by clicking the arrow go back to the PLRB search results on the Google page and you'll see over here a listing of these are the different categories of documents that we have. If I wanted to go just to the state by state documents, I could click here on the left and we're going to find this is going to be the same document up on the top, but these are going to be just state by state collections that we have. And so that's a good way to narrow the search. If you had a lot of results showing up on the right, you might want to key in on the state by state clicking on Colorado actual cash value. That's going to take you back to the same document again that you can find the case law that we have on residential properties in Colorado. There are two other ways you can also get to a Google search in the PLRB database. Start with PLRB homepage again. 
mouse over to PLRB search and you'll see the second thing in the drop down menu right here is PLRB search powered by Google. That's going to take you again to the same PLRB Google search page and I'm going to type in here. I'll put in Colorado actual cash value. You can put these terms in any uh, order you'd like or you could just use CO and I'm going to push search and this is going to bring me the same results as the last Google search over here clicking on here will bring us to the state by state document that we have on actual cash value in Colorado. We also have one other method for reaching the PLRB Google search. You can again mouse over to coverage research. You may be already in your PLRB search homepage here if you've been doing other types of searching. If that's the case you can begin right here. Go up to the top right hand corner and click on PLRB search powered by Google. And this is going to take you to the exact same place here, the PLRB Google search. And I can type in here. I'm going to I'm going to try ACV and just typing in CO uh, instead of the full Colorado and see what I get here. And again, that brings me to, to the same result here, actual cash value in Colorado and the state by state breakdown that we have on that. So as you can see, putting in the Google search box, you can put any variations that you, you, you know, think might be relevant. You can either type out actual cash value, put ACV, type out Colorado fully, type just CO. Any information that you have that you think might be helpful with your search, you can put into the PLRB Google search bar, just like the Google searching that you're used to doing anytime. And that's going to be an easier method for some people to, to reach their documents in PLRB search.